Greetings everyone, this is Ronin Mac here, uh, jumping into some Battlefield Bad Company 2 Vietnam. Um, the issue I was having was uh, trying to get my uh, fraps to work. I had to lower my resolution quite a bit just to get uh, playable FPS, uh, which didn't really help me one way or the other. It's been so long since I've played this game. Uh, this is like virtually my first first match into the game and I was trying to remember my keybinds, my controls, get into the feel of the, the game itself. Um, and I, I pretty much get owned the whole time, which can be frustrating, but Hey, it's only a game, so I figured, what the hey, we'll just we'll just throw the new video out there, and the world can see how much I suck. But, uh, okay. It's a problem we had back when uh, Bad Company 2 initially came out. I was running a, a clan at the time, and a lot of us got into the to the game, and. Uh, other people from our clan would play and get frustrated right away because it's uh, coming from Call of Duty. It's a different play style, and uh, you know you can't run and gun like you can in Call of Duty for sure. There's just too many sight lines, uh, too many angles to get shot from. You really gotta play in your moves quite a bit more carefully than you do in in a Call of Duty game. Uh, you can see oh, where the uh, Vietnamese defending. I have no clue of any of the maps because like I said this is virtually the first game I played. So I don't know what the layout is, where the attackers are coming from, and I'm just getting shot left and right. But that's how you learn. You gotta run around and get destroyed until you learn the maps and get some strategies so I'll probably spend a few hours on the game before I make another video one where I'm not getting sniped and shot left and right every time I spawn in which that's a frustrating factor of the game you gotta pee, uh, be aware of where your squad mates are before you spawn on them, because sometimes you'll spawn in and get shot. It's, this Johnny Two Nuts guy revives me quite a few times. I'm just trying to get a feel for the weapons, the, the recoils, you know, the aiming. Sights are virtually mandatory on this game. You can't. Uh, I was planning on going up to the top of that little foxhole and sniping those guys on the rock there, but I didn't even make it that far because they had pushed down into the... I don't know, it, for the most part it looks like they did a pretty decent job on the, the Vietnam mod, but for some reason the pistols look off in the hands. Uh, I don't know, it's like the, the pistol's too big or something. I don't know. Just looked odd to me, but I don't know. The experience of playing Battlefield is far different than a Call of Duty game. Really need to have a good squad that supports each other, and you can't you can't go into the game without a game plan. Cause if, you're, if everybody's just running around doing their own thing, uh, you're going to get rolled if the opposing team has any semblance of strategy. But the sound in this game is just uh, incredible, I think, especially if you're playing in surround sound. There's just so much explosions, you know, bullet whizzes. And I'm, I'm still trying to figure out where the assault is coming from. And then I see this tank rolling down the hill. <laughs> My AK is not going to do much against that. But. 
I was thinking there might be a guy up in the machine gun I could pick off on the top. I'm going to switch over to a uh, engineer class and try to engage the tank. I don't think I ever get close enough. Well, I did get one round off. And then I get flamethrowed by my teammate for some reason. I don't know if he forgot what team he was on or he was just being an ass. This uh, PPSH I kind of like, but uh, I mean, it's got a drum mag on it, but that thing runs out of rounds really fast. I don't know, it's some, some kind of miniature 30 round drum, but it's got a high rate of fire, but it's uh, pretty much empty after you kill one guy, maybe two if they're standing close together. bomb here. About the only useful thing I do for my team the whole game. Found three of them. Yeah, and I'm still trying to figure out or recall my key binds and mouse setup and stuff for this game, so it'll take me a little while to get uh, back into the, the groove of things. I used to be you know, uh, any game I play, I'm not the dominant player, generally speaking. But I was a pretty competent battlefield player back when I, you know, played a lot. I don't know that I'll be hopping into a helicopter anytime soon. I, w I was a uh, fairly competent pilot, but uh, I know how aggravating it is to jump into a chopper with someone that doesn't know what they're doing. So. It's always good to find a, an empty server and practice when there's nobody to uh, let down when you crash the thing into the side of a mountain or something. I'm trying to remember my sight lines for the rocket launcher. You gotta calculate your drop rate and stuff, and uh, it takes a little bit of tweaking to get into. I probably would have had him then. I got sniped. <clears throat> it's kind of a napalmed out hill we're fighting on here. I always love when I spawn in and get shot right away. But that's what you get when you spawn on your squad mates instead of the fallback spawn zone. I think I get up here and they plant today. I wasn't sure if that was a, a scenery helicopter or an active one, but I think it was just part of the background. Yeah, and I'm trying to remember my throw grenade button. And I can't get it, so. I just charge in there and die because there there was like three of them at least protecting their plant. Yeah, but it looks like they did a pretty uh, decent job on the Vietnam mod. I mean, it's basically 15 bucks. It's not like it's a whole new game. It's just uh, different. Uh, Different maps, a little bit different play style. You know, interesting, it'll, it'll kill some time. Learning the maps is uh, probably the most important part at this point. To be a good attacker or defender, you gotta know where you're going or where they're coming from, otherwise you're pretty useless. And it's harder when you're playing uh, a hardcore server versus a, a standard because you don't get your mini map. So, mini map can be helpful in determining where you are in relations to others. And, you know, you can do spotting and stuff, which you can't do here. 
and I hit that tank. I don't know if I took it out or not. I did die. I like that little waterfall in the background. That's pretty, uh, pretty nice. I don't know. It seemed like uh, back when I was playing this game, frequently uh, snipers were, or the recon snipers were like way over, way overplayed by people. If you were on the attacking team, I'd be in a squad with myself assaulting and got myself some dog tags there. And there'd be three snipers in my squad. They'd all be way back from the the plant points, so you couldn't spawn in close to the objectives. You had to spawn behind some sniper a mile away and run in. Uh, makes it frustrating. But it uh, doesn't seem like there's, at least from what I've seen, an overabundance of snipers in the in this game I played here. I do get sniped quite a bit, but it's not ridiculous like it was back, way back when. Rip far from the bottom. <laughs> really can't hip shoot. Get used to hip shooting in Call of Duty and you hop into battlefield and try to hip shoot your SMG and the bullets are just going everywhere. Two steps and I got team killed by a teammate. Not sure what he was doing there, but I'm sure it was an accident. People wouldn't do stuff like that on purpose. So you'll kind of get a feel of uh, what Vietnam looks like here. Uh, like I said, it's pretty much the same. Same game, just a little different feel. And uh, I think we end up losing this one. After almost defending the final point. So I think this would be a, a good point to defend on uh, once I figure it out. That's uh, Battlefield Bad Company 2 Vietnam Mod. Uh, we'll have more videos in the future when I figure this out. Thanks.